Welcome to the Form Titan video and in this video we'll talk about how to set signature confirmation email for private user when document is signed. So let's go to the contract here and I've just got very basic stuff set up here like term, start date, contact name, billing street, billing city, postcode, state, country and sign here. And what I've done is I'm going to set it as a two-factor authorization and I'll add a user here now. We'll call it Joe, call it blogs and I'm going to give him my personal email here. And then I'm going to enable this user. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure all the fields are assigned to this user. And you can just highlight these. And then say here, we're going to select Joe Blogs. And then click Save. Next, here's the part we want to focus on, which is the settings. And on the email, you've got something called User Signed Document. You will need to check it, click edit, and there are two ways you can set this email up, one step signed it. So look for something like this. Thank you for signing the document name, hello first name, last name. You can do it in a stand template, or you can do it in HTML mode as well, where it says, hello, first name, last name, your signature and document name has been recorded on signed date, following other user, de uh, user, de user data. So we will opt for the HTML mode, but you can use for any, and you can even use merge fields that are available to add on to the um, templates itself. Once you set the custom message, click apply, click save, and then we'll just go ahead and publish this. Okay, the email's been sent. Let's check my inbox. Here's my email. There you go. And if I click on it, I'm not ready to go ahead and sign this, but I need to set up my 2FA authorization. So I'll put my email, and then I should get another email with the code. Here's my code, 77116. And I'll confirm, and we're in. Now I just have to enter some data. Go books, Billing Street, Test Street, Test City. Yes. And then we'll enter the state as Alabama and then United States. And then we'll just sign. And I'll use one of my existing signatures. Once you've done that and you've finished signing, this is where the email now comes in handy. Because if you look in my inbox, I'll get a first email. This is the email that we're looking for. It's a, this is the HTML where I say, hey, hello, Joe Bob, your signature, the document demo contract doc A has been recorded on this date. And here are the details. So it will send the user not only the confirmation email, but also the details of what the data they've filled in. And then they will also get a PDF as well with all the data in there ready for them to see. So that's how it's done. That's how you send them a confirmation email after they've signed the document. So you simply set the document access to private this must be true and then under email you'll just check use a signed document and edit the template and you're good to go and once you've enabled it it's all done thank you for watching this video